Good morning, Gladiators. Today is Thursday, November 19th. Today we're going to have another capitalization check. We'll start off, start off with that. Um, just to reiterate some of these capitalization rules, there's a video here that you can watch. So um, once again, we capitalize regions like Southwest San Antonio, but if it's referred to as a direction, then that does not need to be capitalized. It's nice southwest of San Antonio. So that is not a, um, it's more of a direction from San Antonio and not a specific place. You do not capitalize seasons such as winter, fall, etc. You capitalize special days and holidays like President's Day and the word day needs to be capitalized. You must capitalize eras in history, like the Elizabethan era. And we capitalize names of places like Garcia Middle School. And, and middle and school both need to be capitalized. But if they're referring to a common noun like just middle school, then that does not need to be capitalized. I hate middle school. So um, here are four sentences that I would like for you to correct and take um, the exit test or quiz, a calculation check um, Thursday and complete that as well. I would really like it for you to attend Zoom if you do not do well because we will be going over it and hopefully I could give you a better grade um, or maybe possibly looking for attempt two if, you, if the majority of the class does not do well. I might go back in there and change the attempt. So go back and check to see if you might have a second attempt later on that day or during class time. So then we are going to work on our um, reason two for our informational essay breakdown for square. And it's going to be exactly like we did um, yesterday. So you are going to write a topic sentence and then provide an example. So if you think about apes, the A in apes is the topic sentence. The P is proof. Um, of your answer and so your proof would be an example like this and then don't forget to explain your proof and your topic sentence and then um, we will have three of the four boxes complete tomorrow we'll write our conclusion and then you will submit the uh, four square and then we're gonna probably take that once we come back and and copy all of our paragraphs into an actual essay and submit that but that will be after the break we're going to read The Giver, Chapter 21. It's getting really good. Jonas and The Giver um, have a plan for escape, so I hope that you have been reading. You'll find the audio in this folder. And then we're going to complete the theme, um, Sketch Journal Number 9. So when we return from the break, you are going to pick your favorite two sketch journals to submit for a grade. So you get a choice. So on this sketch journal, you're going to journal about the theme within the novel. Um, please include and answer all three questions. What was the author's purpose in writing this novel? So what was his intention? What was he trying to teach us? What lesson or message does the author want the reader to understand from this novel? And what can you personally take away and use in your life after reading this novel? Please draw a, a visual representation of your example of the theme. It could be like in a little story that storyboard format. It could have stick figures. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. I am definitely not grading on artistic ability, but more so that you provided something visual to, um, to tell us what the theme is. And that's all we have for today, gladiators. I hope you have a wonderful day.